Hey guys, welcome b -b -b back to our YouTube channel. I literally remember sitting in the office like last year recording a video very similar to this. It's crazy that already a year went by. I don't understand where the time goes. It's actually messed up. Anyway, this video, I'll be speaking about my new year resolutions slash goals. Sorry, I almost burped there. So if you want to keep watching, you're wanna, if you want to keep watching, keep watching. I feel like you'll take away some stuff in here. I feel like you'll get inspired. So keep watching. So work slash personal is a bit different, but kind of all connected in any way. Number one is my mental health. That affects every single thing I do. I breathe, I live, every little single interaction I do. Work, personal life, it's all one thing when it comes to my mental health. That is something I definitely want to continue working on. And I feel like what I'm going to unfold, unfold or unpack or whatever is going to be all little things that I will be doing that will work together in tangent to help me better mentally. Number one. I know everyone says this, it's so cliche, taboo, because I say this all every year too. I want to work out and be healthy. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? That's not how you do it. You have you can't just like want to make like a, like a 180 turn around your life and like expect it to happen. Because that's just not how like the human body or brain functions, I'm pretty sure, if I learned something on TikTok. No, you have to get into a habit. And I feel like choosing to like eat healthy, healthier and like make better like conscious decisions is better start than just like working out because I feel like I'm gonna work out but I'm still eating like garbage so it kind of like counteracts. I rather like fuel my body with like healthier and more nutritious foods and then make my way make, make my way up to working out because I feel like it kind of starts from within anyway. So I want to like make my insides much better if that makes sense. So I want to start just like drinking more water, eating more healthy, and, and it's not to say I'm gonna be like some health queen that like just eats super healthy all the time because that's just like not me at all, but with all the traveling I've been doing and just like my stress and going and, and being at the office all day long, I have been eating, I have been eating correctly, I've been eating like, I've been eating very like poor. And obviously when you're in that state, just the fact that you're eating anything is still like a good sign. It's better than eating nothing at all. So if you're watching this video, make sure that you are at least eating something. For me, it's just, I wanna be making those healthier, more like conscious decisions of like what I'm putting in my body. So just like trying to eat more whole foods and things like that. So that's like number one. I think that'll also help me like mentally too when I'm like not putting as much processed junk in my body. It will help me and like clear things up in my brain. Number two is expressing more like gratitude and being grateful for just like the little things. Like when I wake up in the morning, I want to start writing down what I'm grateful for. Or just like taking two seconds to acknowledge it, whether it's like my drive to work and I'm driving in my car and like I have like my favorite song on that I'm listening to and it has all these fun memories attached to it. Or whether I'm just like, eating dinner with my parents and it's just like oh I'm, I have both of them with me and like we're eating a nice meal so like my mom can't cook so we'd have to like be at a restaurant for that to happen but anyway just like little things like that being like just, just express, expressing gratitude for the small thing because you cannot express and have gratitude and appreciativeness for the small things you're never going to enjoy the big things like I'm very sorry to tell you so just like being more appreciative and also trying to live more in the moment I'm always thinking about the past or like the future, just being like more present, which again, when I'm more present, I'll be able to acknowledge and appreciate what's in front of me, um, which is also very important. So another thing I wanna work on is just like priorities a bit in the sense of as like work is always my number one and that's really important, but what's also important is like taking care of myself, which I did give example before, like eating healthy, but just like trying to block off time of the day where it's like reserved just for me, um, and I feel like that will keep me a bit more well rested in turn, like making me overall like better for the brand. So I feel like I have a hard time taking that time off because I'm very guilty. I have a very guilty conscience and it'll tell me like, oh, well, you could be working during this time instead of like relaxing. And I feel like I, I will give into that. And I feel like I have to kind of like ignore that voice in me because I know that, well, I have to try to know, you know, that that break is actually better for me. So I just think prioritize myself a bit because if you can't prioritize yourself, then like you can't prioritize anybody, if that makes sense. Like you really need to have like a good understanding of yourself and that will also help you become like a better daughter, a better friend, a better person to work with. So I feel like, again, that just all connects. Now I want to talk about some like work goals, even though the goals or things that I was talking about do kind of relate to work. And um, then one is like organized. So I'm very like 
in like spurts. I'm very like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And like my mind is very hectic. So if I'm hectic in here, it's very difficult to be organized out there. So I want to try like being more organized, organizing my thoughts, getting things done like all the way through and like giving myself checklists. Because when I give myself a checklist, it's like an ongoing project most of the time. So I can't just like check it off in that day. So it's an ongoing thing. So going forward, what I will try to do is like take little cuts of the project and say, okay, well from today or tomorrow, like do this of the project. And I just write like the project as a whole. So like that, it feels like I'm getting more um, things done. Also, one of my goals this year is to open up more stores, possibly in Canada, I would say, because we do probably have our strongest presence in the Canadian market. So I want to open up more stores in Canada, do them really nicely, have an amazing team. Um, I also definitely want to grow the brand this year and like really get back to like what we're good at. Um, I feel like we had like a really good year and then like the other year was like not as good. And I feel like we learned stuff from both those years. And then together, I feel like that is what's going to like prepare us for like the, this next year, if that makes sense. So I feel like we... Like, that's why I'm saying I feel like you have to go through, like, hard times and stuff to know, like, how to make changes, how to adjust, you know? So, like, we have learning experience from, like, every month, from every influencer we club, from every customer interaction we had. And, like, now we're taking that and we're really, like, setting it in stone of, like, how we're going to, like, improve as a company. Um, I think that's going to be really cool. And I think just prioritizing our customers more and more this year, like, making customer events, parties... I'm inviting you guys for like dinners, meeting up with you guys, letting you guys create pieces. I think that that will be at the forefront of our marketing um, this upcoming year and like figuring out how we could really prioritize and um, work with our customers. I really hope that I keep myself accountable for anything I said in this video. If not, then that's pretty sad, just like me. Um, but if I want to be happy, let me change that around. And again, just like see my life from a different perspective, which I want to start doing. And let me know down below what your New Year's resolutions or goals or achievements or what you want to achieve this year or anything. Let me know. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, make sure you're clicking the bell so you're notified when I post a video. And you're subscribing to us and you're liking and all that fun stuff because YouTube is hard, okay? So follow, like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching this video. Love you, besties.